Hi guys, I'm going to do a very quick update on skincare and products that I use. They are exclusive to one brand, and yes, they're expensive, but I have just resolved myself to the fact that it's what I love. So, I'm going to tell you all about it. And yes, it's Chanel. Ah, did you hate right when you start a video and you drop something and then you have to pick it up with your toes? That's talented toes. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get to that in just a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to make this kind of short. I like my hair. And this is my second day working with it. And, you know, it never looks quite the way that it did when you walked out of the salon. But that's why they're hair stylists. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm not starting with cleansers because I've talked about cleansers before. But once you have cleansed your face, then I do use... I don't use this every day, by the way. Um, I use this every few days or if it's a special occasion. I don't always use toner, and this brightening moisture lotion is basically a toner. Um, it's in the LeBlanc part of the series within Chanel, and I do like it. It is, um, it is hydrating, and it supposedly plumps and hydrates your skin before you do anything else. So I do use it, but not every single day. But what I do use every single day, yes, I had to get it black market. I didn't go on eBay to get this. They stopped carrying it. But I did get it about $20 cheaper, too. And it came with the packaging. So this is the real thing because I thought, what if somebody just, like, put, like, mayonnaise in it and it's not even real? So here it is. Yeah. It is my, can you read that? My lighting is still so screwed up, but I'm fixing to get my camera all right, Ultra Correction Line Repair Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. That's too long. Maybe that's why they got rid of it. That is too long. Okay, my eye cream. I just do, it's a pump, and I just do one little squirt, and um, I put it on my ring fingers. Sometimes I do put it on my middle fingers, and then I tap it on, and then I rub it in real good, and I rub it in real good in my uh, crow's feet. And then I smoothen it again, and then I tap it back out, and I'm done. If I have any left on my fingers, it's expensive, so I don't waste it. I use it right here on the top of my mouth where you also start to get wrinkles, or between my brows. You get a wrinkle right there. Now, after I do that, um, this is after I get out of the shower. My hair is still in a towel, and this is when I do this. I'm explaining for a reason. Then I use my Lilith Cream Riche. I have tried to find other moisturizers, um, day creams. I have found some that are okay. They're not anything to write home about. This is something to write home about. It is so rich. It is so moisturizing. Um, but it does not sweat under my base. And that's so important to me because I hate that feeling. <clears throat> Brie, she's bringing me the ball under the desk as usual. Okay. This is just so great. Let's see where I'm at. It also, you only need a little, little bit. I just use the back of my middle nail. Um, it's also very luxurious packaging. This is glass. Very heavy piece here. And then once it's on the back of my nail, I put it on the other middle finger. And then I dab it out to the other two little fingers and just use the three, both hands. Emulsify it by rubbing it together for a few seconds. And then I work it into my skin. And mainly through here. And then I go over my lip down here up on my nose don't forget your nose your no nose does need moisturizer go up here get it real good on this um this brow wrinkle that everybody gets you're gonna get it i don't know how you could get around not getting it that's why I, actually i like bangs because i like bangs but bangs do kind of help camouflage your forehead i like my forehead okay actually um and then here right through here in your temples you tend to be more dry so hey look i just gave myself a little facelift that would look awful. Okay. I just saved a bunch of money. I'm not going to get a facelift. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I am still sick, y'all. Sorry. Um, so, anyway. Um, where was I? S skincare. <laughs> I think I need some brain care. But, anyway. So, once I get that on, then I brush my teeth. Now, that's what I'm telling you. I do let it um, 
get into my skin good for a few minutes. And about the time that you need to brush your teeth is enough time. After that, then I do my base, which is Perfection Lumiere Velvet. I have tried a billion foundations. I think I did a um, foundation um, video. And I went over, I don't know how many foundations that I've tried. And guys, I just keep coming back to this. It's just like some people have other favorites. This is my favorite. And it's in 22 Beige Rose. It's interesting because in the Perfection Lumiere Agua, or Aqua, mm -hmm. um, it was 20 Beige Rose. It's 22. So that's just weird. Different numbers for different formulations. <clears throat> okay, so that's to get ready during the day. And then for putting on eye base, I stopped using Urban Decay Primer Potion because, I, guys, I think I figured out that was what was irritating my eyes. So now I decided to try Chanel's Eye Primer, and it's based on Brave Papity, professional eyeshadow base. And it's almost like a, a luminizing stick. It's, you know, the screw up with the, the little brush on it. And um, I just dab it on and rub it in just like you would any eye primer, and I love it. And it's easy because I can keep it in my purse in case I forgot to put it on before I put my shadow on. And then for um, hand cream during the day, hands down, this is another one that actually Nordstrom's carries this. And I think Chanel still carries this on their main line. But this is part of that precision uh, line, again, body excellence. And it's a nourishi nourishing and rejuvenating hand cream. And I don't think you can see that again because I think my lighting is messed up here. It smells wonderful. Husband can even use this because it just has a good, clean cotton linen smell. It's not fruity. It's not floral. It's just a wonderful, wonderful. It's a good size to keep in your purse. Um, and then at night, the only thing that I add to my regimen is that I don't during, do during the day. Some people do. And that is um, the Rouge Coco Balm. And this is the um, Chanel's version of a lip balm. And what I love about it is... I do have the regular lip balm that's in the little, where is it? thought I had it. But anyway, this is my um, Christian Dior one. But you know the little pots like that. I have the Chanel one. Bree says, hello, 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 hello. But I love that this is a roll-up. So you don't have to stick your finger on it. You just put it on and go to sleep. And um, I don't use that during the day just because I don't want my lipstick to... Um, some people put this on early enough in their regimen. Maybe I should try that a little earlier before brushing my teeth and stuff. That wouldn't work because I'm not brushing my teeth. Anyway, <clears throat> they put it on early enough that they get moisture into their lips, and then they put on their lipstick and their lip liner. But I don't use any of that. As you all know, where is my purse? Where is my purse? All right. As you all know, my lip product that I use, I also want to show you this, is my Chanel, what is it called? See, it just doesn't say it on it. I think it's Lip Intense Lipstick. Anyway, that's what I wear. And it's like paint, so when you put it on, it's on, and I don't want this underneath it to make it not stay on. Because um, it stays on all day. And then you put this high gloss on it, and it sets it and it makes it super duper shiny. And I love it. It's my favorite all time product. And I do have to have a lip product. <coughs> I'm so sick of being sick. Okay. One other thing I wanted to show you today just because I put it on my lips. My lips. My. One of these are called nails. Uh, uh, I just think this is such a gorgeous color. I know it looks kind of black. It almost is black. Um, but it's not black. It's called Blue Blood, GM Blue Blood, and this is part of the Pure Color line from Estee Lauder. Isn't that just the prettiest packaging? It's just a little crystal cube with the brass, um, coloring on the, um, bottle, and it just looks so elegant. But guys, it also, look how shiny. It looks like I just painted them. Look how shiny that is. And we'll see how good the coverage is. I mean, well, when you're putting on, it's good coverage. It's a little thin on first coat. Most are for a really opaque color like this. And then after that, the second coat looks great. Um, I tipped out the end of my nails just because I have French white underneath. And they already have, just from one day, 
um, kind of worn off. The end of your nails wears off quickly. So, but I really love this out of um, my collection of nail polishes. Estee Lauder only have two. And I'm going to grow that because this is just such beautiful packaging and I really do like the product and how it looks on your nails. And it's comparable pricing for, you know, department store uh, nail polishes. I mean, I've got plenty of Essie and stuff too, but sometimes, and my Chanel, you all know I love my Chanel. But sometimes you just um, are a sucker for packaging. I am. I do like this. I think it's very pretty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was kind of a short haul, and I will talk to you again on my next video. Bye.